Welcome back. It's Wednesday, May 20th, I believe. Did I get that right? I think so. May 20th, and it's time to draw some race cars. Sorry I haven't been able to join you for the last two days. I had some family issues I needed to take care of, but everything's good, and and uh, yeah, back to drawing today. So thanks for your patience. I hope you enjoyed some of those reruns. If you're just watching for the first time, I'm Boris. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, the NASCAR team. And, uh, you know, we're uh, just getting back to racing. Did you watch the Darlington race on Sunday? Great race. We weren't able to win it, but it was still really great to be able to be back at the track and doing it in a uh, racing in a, in a healthy, safe way for everyone involved. So thank you for watching, and we're going to do it again tonight. I hope you're going to watch tonight. Speaking of tonight, Kyle Busch is going to debut a new Toyota Camry race car tonight, a lavender, which is kind of a purpley color on his M&M's Camry number 18. Can you believe that? I don't think I've ever seen... Well, I have seen him in a pink race car once. Does anybody remember that race car? Yeah. We're going to draw that M&M's Camry tonight. That lavender fudge brownie Camry. Let, let me pull up a picture here for you. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Here. Let me do that right quick. Because you're going to love this car. I love this car. This is one of the coolest looking cars that Kyle Busch has ever run. So let me throw it over here to my iPad and boom, there it is. Look at that. Of course, your typical M&M's colors. But these M&M's are filled with fudge brownie. So we're going to draw this today. You like that view? I do too. I think this is going to be a fun one to draw. So let's jump right into it. If this is your first time drawing with us, you can use whatever you have in front of you. Pen, paper, color, pencil, marker, any of that stuff. This is going to be fun for everybody, no matter your skill level, and we're going to have fun drawing today. Let me pick my correct pen here, and we're going to start with a line that goes about like this. Pretty much making a check mark here, okay? Making a check mark. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, mine's a little sketchy. Start with the check mark. While you're starting with your check mark, maybe you're still getting your supplies ready. I'm going to check the comments. I've missed you all these last couple days, but uh, glad to be back with you. Glad to be drawing here today. We're having fun once again. All right. Who's out there? We got Danny out there. Devin's out there. Dakota. Daniel. Tony. Gary. Jerry. Furman. Furman enjoyed the race. Michelle enjoyed the race. All right. We're. We're having a good time out there. Y'all are back. I'm glad to see you. We're drawing Kyle Busch's Fudge Brownie M&M's Camry that he's debuting at Darlington tonight. Are you going to watch? I'm going to watch. I can't wait. Night race? I always watch a night race. Okay, you got your check mark. Now what do we need? I think I'm going to want a line going straight up. Straight up there. And straight up there. Okay. We're going to make a little box. A little rectangular box. And we're going to fit our race car into, and it's going to look good. Next, draw a line coming down like this, and connect those lines that you just drew going straight up, and do the same thing over here. Very nice. Very good. Now it looks like a, a really thick check mark, or like a book that's opening up. See, one of the secrets to drawing is that you look at an object you want to draw, and then you find shapes within the object that you already know how to draw, like a line or a check mark. We're going to turn a check mark into a race car. Easy as that. It might not seem easy right now, but trust me, we're going to make it happen. All right. Next thing I want you to do here is I want you to draw the same line over here and stop about right there. You see this line you drew here? See that angle? I want you to draw them almost exactly the same angle, parallel, which means they never will touch. They'll always stay side by side. So see how this line is angled that way? I drew this line almost exactly the same way, except over here on this side of the page. Got that? Very nice. That's going to be our hood, you know, where the engine is in the car. Yeah. Okay. Next. I want you to take this line you see here. I want you to do the same thing, but up here. I want you to draw it parallel. And it can be sketchy like me. We don't have to have perfect straight lines, but draw it parallel like that. So now we've made a little box. That's where the hood's going to be. That's also where our windshield's going to be. For the windshield, we need to draw an angle up like this. 
and the same angle parallel on the other side about like that and then connect them. I know we got people watching on Twitter and Facebook and at YouTube and all over the place. I appreciate you watching. You know, we're, we're staying home, staying healthy, playing it safe here. And what better way than to uh, pass the time and to learn some things than, than to draw some really cool race cars like Kyle Busch's race car. I mean, he's one of the best drivers, right? Why not draw his race car? How's yours coming along? You catching up? I'm going to give you a second. You're looking at my drawing probably, seeing how it's coming together. Next thing we need is the roof. So the roof is going to continue back, kind of like this line, same angle. Put it over there and then connect them just like you did the windshield. Can you see how race cars are really kind of just boxes and shapes put together? Now in a minute, we're gonna, we're gonna shave off some of these hard edges. We're gonna make it more smooth and streamlined so it cuts through the air really fast. Even at Darlington, it's not the fastest track on the schedule, but you still want to be able to get through the air really quickly. All right. Look at there, looking good. How about a window now? Draw a window. So follow this line, cut it back over, and then just follow the roof line again. And now you have a window for Kyle Busch's car. Now the reality is we're just drawing a car template. You could turn this car into any color you want, any sponsor, any driver, but I'm sticking with Kyle today. I felt like drawing this new special car that he's gonna debut tonight. You ready to watch? <clears throat> All right. Got our trunk back here. We're doing basically just drawing the same lines over and over again. I know it might seem like we're doing the same thing over and over again, but I'm telling you what, it's gonna turn into a race car. There's a bumper back there. See how I just made it bump out a little bit? That's why they call it a bumper. It's where, you know, sometimes you get, you know, Keselowski or Joey Logano back there, and they might they might give it a little bump. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna support it, but but I understand it. And so we gotta have a bumper on Kyle Busch's car for that reason. Also, we need a spoiler. So draw a line up like this, and another line up like that, and then connect them. You see how we're following the same process for almost every part of this car? Race car has just a lot of planes, which are, you know, flat areas that, that, have, that take the shape of squares and rectangles and, and lines and cubes and cylinders. And so that's what we're filling out. All right. I like how this is going already. This is looking good. Next, we need, to, we need to shave down this nose because there's no race car right now that I know of that looks like a perfect rectangle or a, or a cubed object like that. That's not going to go very fast. So we're going to follow this line and I'm going to just round off the nose like that. Okay? We're just rounding it off, giving it a round appearance. That Camry is aggressive and fast looking. It's not going to have a pointed nose like this. If you're able to erase, feel free to do that. If you can't, that's okay, just leave it there. We'll cover it up with some racetrack colors and shapes. We have to draw the asphalt, which is usually a dark gray or a black, so don't worry about it if you can't erase like me. It's no big deal. Still looks good, I guarantee it. All right. While you're catching up, I know I'm going fast. I am going to uh, read some comments because I really enjoy seeing what y'all are doing out there. A lot of people watching. It's great to see that. Very cool. Oh yeah, a lot of people out there watching. We're having fun. Donna likes the hair. Donna, just if, imagine if I took this hat off. The hair that you would see. I don't, I'm not sure we could fit it in the screen. Let me, let me show you how much I need sport clips today. Yep. Oh yeah. I need sport clips bad. I don't know about you. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll style it tomorrow and wear no hat. That's crazy. It feels good, though. It feels good. I like my DeWalt hat, but it feels good to kind of take that off. How's your hair looking these days? Tell you what, can't wait to get back into sport clips. Thanks, Donna. Daniel got a haircut yesterday. All right, all right. Jack's out there. Appreciate it. Jack says the, the uh, M&M's fudge brownie car is going to look aggressive and delicious at the same time. Uh, LaDonna, thank you so much. All right. Gary's out there. 
Mateus is drawing. Thank you for drawing with us, Mateus. I really appreciate you watching. We're having fun today, drawing Kyle Busch's race car. All right, let's split that window in half with a line about right there. That's the B post, as you may or may not know. So we got A post, B post, C post. This race car is coming together fast. I guarantee it's going to be fast at Darlington as well. All right, I also want to round off the bottom nose here like this. Remember how we rounded off the top of it? Well, I want you to round off the bottom a little bit too. We don't need any jag uh, you know, sharp, jagged edges popping tires out there on the racetrack. We don't, we don't want to cut anybody's tire. All right. What would you think of that first race back? Wasn't it exciting to see the race cars on the track? I couldn't be there. I know you couldn't be there, but we were keeping our crew members and our drivers safe and healthy, and they were giving us a good race in return, and I was just so excited to see that. Felt like things were getting back to a little bit of normalcy, right? Okay. Alrighty. Alright, you ready? We're going to start giving this car some character, but first we need to give it some wheels, don't you think? So wheel wells, you might know by now, are upside down U's like this. So I start in the back, and I'm going to do a skinny upside down U back there. You know, a U, the letter U. Not Y-O-U, but just the letter U, like this. Except we turn it upside down and then we fit a wheel into it. You can do that, can't you? At the beginning I said, drawing is about finding things, shapes inside of an object that you already know how to draw and piecing them together. So you knew how to draw lines and squares, upside down U's, and we're just piecing them together and making a race car. I bet yours looks pretty good right now. Let me put an upside down U over here so that we can get our front wheel inside. Very good, very good. Okay. Feels good to be drawing a race car again, doesn't it? All right, let's give this Kyle Busch car some uh, some character here. See, there, there's the front of it. Did you see that car? We're drawing that almost exact same angle, aren't we? Look at that. So we need to add these headlights, a lot of aggressive lines and angles in here. So let's add that in here for this Camry. Really make this car look good. All right. So the thing I notice about the Camry is that it has kind of a, again, a check mark shape at the front here, a, a an aggressive, like a fighter jet, you know, really aggressive. So I'm drawing kind of a blade-like shape at the front up here. You see that in there? How it's kind of a blade-like shape, right? And then. It has these spikes up here at the front that kind of go like this. The headlights merge into these really aggressive spikes. And let me tell you, when another competing driver sees this car coming up in their rear view mirror, they know it's a Camry and they know they better get out of the way or else they're about to get passed, right? Am I right? Especially if it's that number 18 Camry. All right. So then the headlight takes a shape a bit like that. If you want to, you can also draw a little circle right here. That's where the Toyota emblem will go. Just helps keep things in line. Looking good. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot already. Next, we have a line that goes like this. And then cuts down around the Toyota emblem. And then connects back up to the headlight. Now, I'm going to make that a double line so that I can fill it in with another color. Bulb right there, just kind of a circle. And then I just draw some squiggles and some scribbles in there. Because really it's a lot of reflectors and refractors and bulbs and mirrors and all sorts of stuff that I don't fully understand, just the good engineers at Toyota do. But we make those headlights look real by just putting some scribbles in there and some bulbs. That's why I think headlights are one of the funnest things to draw, in my opinion. Because you can really just get creative and make it look like glass and look really good. All right, we'll fill that in in a little bit. We've got our basics down there. Next, I'm going to put in a wheel. The wheel is just going to be an oval, kind of like this. Now, I know sometimes that's challenging to draw. I've practiced a lot. got kind of a smooth rhythm in there. 
you might need some more practice. It's okay. But the good thing is, when you scribble in a wheel like that, what happens? Even if it's not perfect, it looks like it's going really fast. That is the beautiful thing about drawing a race car, is that you can scribble it in there, and the more scribbles you do, the more speedy it looks. Isn't that awesome? That's what I like about drawing race cars. So get in there, be confident, don't worry about being perfect. Just scribble in a car. Now, I mean a wheel on the car. Now listen to what I'm talking about. If I go like this and I go outside the lines, look at that, it just looks like it's going even faster. So you don't have to worry about being perfect here. You know, our world today, we're having to fix some things, we're having to deal with things that aren't going right, and we don't need to worry about our drawings. We don't need to get bent out of shape about those. We're, we're just in the process of fixing some stuff. So drawing with a couple mistakes or a couple scribbles, that's okay. That's something you can work with and still make something really cool out of. And I think that's a good lesson to remember as an artist. All right. A lot of people out here watching. We got Justin's out there watching. Gladys. Jameson's watching. Really appreciate it. A lot of fun folks out there. Hope you're enjoying this. We're getting close to adding those M&M's characters and the, the uh, candy on there and the number and the colors. Kyle Bush is running a very special lavender paint scheme. I think it's a very manly color. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I like it. I think it's good. All right. I'm going to add some support bracing in there in the windshield. That keeps any driver safe from outside objects. Wes is watching. Thank you, Wes. Okay. Pretty soon we're going to add a number in there. What I like to do with a number is I like to draw a box up like this. And I just follow the lines on the door to give myself a box. And then I do the same thing on the roof. Up like this. See the box there? And basically, remember we drew a box for the car? It's like a bounding box, like boundaries, bounding lines. Well, the same thing for the number. We're going to fit our number in that box, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit perfectly, trust me. Because what you want to do is you want to divide that box in half for a 1 and an 8. And of course, it feels backwards on the roof because it's upside down to us, but it's a 1 and an 8. And then you just add a dot there for the 8 and a dot there for the 8. Round them off a little bit. And just like that, you have a pretty good looking number 18 if you ask me. Dot up there. Dot up there. And just like that, the 18's coming together really good. Really nice. Oh yeah. How cool is that? All right, Darren's out there. He just joined in. Thanks for the thumbs up, Darren. We're drawing that Kyle Busch car. Okay, we're gonna have to add some circles for those M&Ms. Let me pull up that picture again. Look at that big circle goes down in the nose, comes up the hood. Another big one over here. A green one back there, and one behind the number over there, and then there's a red one there. Whew, we got some circles to draw. Okay, so I want you to take a breath. Get ready. They don't have to be perfect, but we're going to start down here on the nose and we're going to move it up and we're going to just bring this circle up here like this. And look how I'm being sketchy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, the more whiskey you are, swooshy you are with the lines, the more fast the car looks, the more horsepower it has. So you don't have to be perfect. Just do, give it your best shot there. Beautiful circle there. How about another circle over here? Heck, maybe this car is going to be spinning some donuts. Doing some donuts because it won, you know? So there's going to be even more circles involved. How about another circle over here for the red one? Got to have that one. And then don't forget there was a circle over here. Going to be green. And then there's a circle behind the number. And trust me, M&Ms look good anywhere. So if you don't have these circles in the exact right spot, don't worry about it. Just a colorful car is what we're going for. All right. What's up, Devin? How are you doing, Devin? You watching out there? We'll get some show and tell together this week. I promise, Devin. It'll be fun. Tracy's out there. James is watching. All right. Our, our car's coming together. I like this already. I can't wait to add in that lavender purple color, though. That's, that's uh, my mom's favorite color, one of my favorite colors. Looking good. Okay. I think we're pretty close. Let me see what else we have on this car. Oh, of course, the M's. We have to get the M's in there. Yeah, yeah, we got just about everything in there. Are you ready to color in? 
I'm ready to color in. Are you ready to color in? Because I'm ready to color in. Let's let's add in some swooshes. I want you to get some some dark swooshes in there since we're working with black. And I'm going to put them in the window here. I'm just going to make them kind of swooshy. Make them look like there's some speed. We'll be adding some colored swooshes later. But there's some speed in there. In the grill, I'm going to add some hash marks like this. See these marks that go one direction? And then I turn it around and I go back the other direction. Look how easy that made it to fill in that area. Just like that, we have a darker area. Okay. One thing we're missing. Whenever I draw race cars, people forget about this, but it's very important, okay? It's the shadow. Yeah, you have a shadow, I have a shadow, my phone has a shadow. You know, there's, there's a little shadow back here you can see on the screen. What I'm saying is, a shadow makes a race car appear like it's stuck to the ground really well. Okay, let me show you. If I drew the shadow like this, and I came in and I filled it in, it really gives a feeling that there's a race car existing in the real world where the sun is shining and things are uh, looking pretty good. See that? You can put your shadow really wherever you want. But let me show you all the things that happen when you move a shadow around. So what happens if I drew a shadow like this? If I came in there and drew a shadow like that, what does that make it look, the car look like it's doing? Kind of makes it look like the car's flying, doesn't it? The car is lifted off the ground and it's flying through the air. You see that? Now I'm just doing a rough shadow here, but look how it looks like the, the back end is lifted off in the air. And even if I came in here and I disconnected the shadow completely, what if I disconnected it completely from the car? I mean, now we're getting really crazy. Now the shadow... Now the car isn't even touching the ground, it's like lifted off, like it's being beamed up into a spaceship. So it's very important the way you choose to draw your shadow, because that will determine how the car looks like it's uh, interacting with the world. So I'm going to go back to that other shadow, and I'm just going to follow the line here of the car. And I'm even going to give it a little bit of a roof right here. See a little bump right there? That shadow is just mimicking the real car we've already drawn. So I'm just, I'm drawing a car inside a shadow. And I think that makes it look so much better and makes it look like it's real and like it's stuck to the ground and like it's really moving along really fast. You know, in racing, there's something called grip that's very important. Grip, G-R-I-P. And grip means how well those tires are sticking to the track which helps Kyle Busch go even faster and turn even faster and win the race. And so if we make our race car and our drawing look like it's gripped and stuck to the track, that makes that race car look even faster. All right. John is out there watching. John's one of our show car drivers. He drives uh, Kyle Busch's show car hauler around to different locations so that you can see it up close. Coming back to you sometime soon, I hope to a town near you, maybe a, a place that sells some M&Ms. All right, I think it's time for some color. What do you think? Enough talking, let's get to coloring. All right, I'm gonna pick a new layer here for me. You can choose to do whatever you want, but I'm gonna find this lavender. I've been waiting for forever to color in this purple. Let me show you how it's looking up here. That's the color I chose. See it? Oh yeah, I'm telling you what, that's gonna look good. Go back here and take a look at our race car. See all that purple on the roof and the hood and the nose and the doors? Let's put that in there. If you don't have any colors with you right now, just save it for later. Just when you get some colors, it'll be a great project maybe for tonight or tomorrow or this weekend when we don't have a show. But uh, I'm telling you what, there's a good opportunity to color in right here anytime you want to. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to color in some purple, which is actually more of a lavender. It's not really a deep bluish purple it's more of a has a little more red in it than a than a normal purple
All right. So who do you think is going to win the race tonight at Darlington? Got any picks? Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex, Eric Jones. Xfinity got rained out yesterday, so I think they're going to try tomorrow to run. Hated that for our drivers and crews, but and also for you fans, but just the way that things turned out. Man, I love that color. This race car is going to look so good on the track. And can you see how I left my, my scribble marks in there? That's okay. You know when another race car bangs into one race car, it leaves a tire mark on the door? They call that a donut on the side of the door. Well, maybe that's what happened here. So my whole point is, sometimes we get wigged out and we get upset and we get worried about mistakes and that we went outside the lines and that it's not perfect exactly how we wanted it to be and and all those things. I don't want you to worry about stuff like that on our drawing show because we're just learning. And we can make any mistake work. We can uh, we can turn it into something useful with our race cars here. So don't worry about that. Even when I get outside the lines here, guess what? It just means it's a speed blur. The car's blurring by. See back here? Whew. I got outside the lines. But that just makes it look like the car's going faster. That's what we're doing here. We're figuring out how to make things work. I like that base purple already, don't you? Oh, Darren's a, a rowdy fan. A lot of fans out there. Even some people who aren't JGR fans, that's okay. We're glad you're here drawing with us. You can cheer for Jimmy all you want, or some of these other folks. Harvick, that's all right. We still love you. All right, now I'm going to go back to a dark gray. This grill really needs to get filled in. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to fill in this grill with some dark gray. Ooh, that's really dark, isn't it? Maybe a little too dark. Let me let me lighten that up just a bit so you can see the difference between the grill and the shadow. There we go. I like that a lot better. All right. I'm going to leave this line white so I can put color in it. Oh, yeah. We're having fun here. One of the best parts about NASCAR race cars is the color, isn't it? The speed and the color and the excitement. And we're bringing it all together here for you. Having fun. All right. Let me go back here and pick some more purple. Pick up my purple again and add it into this area here. Now, what color are these M&Ms on the hood? Let's review. Big blue M&M on the front yellow, green, blue on the door number, red right here, and a little bit of orange. So I'm going to start with the blue. Let's try to pick that color blue here. I think that's about right there. I'll show you up here. That's the blue I picked right there. Looking pretty good. So let's go in here and let's make that M&M a blue color. Now one thing I'm not remembering to do here is draw on the M. Let me show you how to do that right quick. Now you can, uh, you can do this a couple ways. If you want to do an M that's just like this, just like you're writing a letter, that's fine. I think that's okay. Maybe you want to keep it white though. I think that's what I want to do is I want to keep it white. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw some more lines. There's going to be a line there and a line there. Okay? It's like drawing the number 11. Another line and another line. And then another line, and another line. So how many lines is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you draw six lines side by side, all parallel, like that for me? That's what I'd like you to do. We're going to turn that into the M on the M&M's candy, okay? So once you have six lines, let me know. All right. Tracy's an Eric Jones fan. Amanda, uh, Jack and Amanda love the purple. I do too. I haven't drawn too many purple race cars. Jarrett loves the new M&M's car. Really cool. Glad y'all are watching. This is one of our neatest cars we ever raced, I think. Okay, you got your lines? Now, we're going to go every other line. Okay, so here's what I mean. The first two lines, connect them at the bottom, but don't, don't go to the third line, okay? Then start at the third line and connect the third and fourth line, like this. Okay, we're skipping one. And then connect the last two, the fifth and sixth line, like this. We've got the bottom of our M now, okay? Then at the second and third line, 
draw a little curved top like that. And then on the fourth and fifth line, draw a little curved top like that. Can you see that the M's coming together? Then all you have to do is just pretty much finish those lines up at the top like this. And now you've got a pretty darn good looking M on that candy and you can color around it and you can you can leave it white just like that. Now there are also little kick outs on the sides that you might want to leave white. I'm going to do that. You see how there's a, a little flag feeling right there on the edge so we're going to do that too. I'll probably just add it there and add it there and add it there. Just make it look more like the real M&M M. &M -M. Just like that. See that? Now I can take my blue again and I can go in there and I can start coloring in again. And I'm going to stay on the outside of that M. So I'll take my blue and get back to color. By the way, if this is your first time watching, we've done a lot of these episodes. I stopped counting. I can only count to about 13. So I didn't, no, I'm just kidding. I can count higher than that. But I stopped counting. But they're all on YouTube, so you can go to the Joe Gibbs Racing YouTube channel, or if you'd like, you can just search something like uh, Boris Draws Race Cars or something like that, and you can get in there and you can watch all our previous episodes, which inc include all of our Joe Gibbs Racing cars, even some historic cars, a bunch of Kyle Busch cars, Martin Truex cars, Eric Jones, a lot of Denny Hamlin cars, even some trucks, racing trucks, haulers. We even drew a, uh, we've drawn a bass boat for Bass Pro Shops. We've done all sorts of things. You know what we haven't drawn is an airplane, though. That's the, that makes me think we need to draw an airplane at some point. Because, you know, sometimes, not these days, but back before everything happened with the virus, we were, uh, we were flying to the tracks. So race teams have a lot of experience with airplanes. All right. I'm just going to add some highlights. I picked a lighter blue up here just to give it a little zing, a little pizzazz, a little realism. Maybe a little bit of a darker blue down there. Oh, yeah. Mateus is a fan of Logano and Gibbs and Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott. Likes all those drivers. I appreciate that. Linda's out there. we got people near Seattle. So we're all over the country here, all over the world. Okay, all right. Enough talk. Let's see. Let's draw the yellow M&M. &M. So remember to repeat your, your M's on there. I'm not going to go over that again, but you remember how to do it. Just draw your M's on the candy, if you would. I'm just going to fill in here, and I'm going to add the M in later. Because I can do that with an iPad. That's one of the cool things about drawing with an iPad. So just coloring in my yellow. I'm not a big fan of this color yellow I picked. It looks a little too mustardy for me. And that's not what an M&M &M candy looks like. An M&M candy is a bright yellow. More like that. Let's see if I can get a little better yellow going in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now that is a yellow, if I've ever seen a yellow. Beautiful yellow right there. All right, I'm just filling in my M&M &M here. I'll add the M later. You add it first if that's how you want to do it. There we go. All right. Now over here we have red, right? Yep. Red with some brown. This one's kind of bit open already. It's chewed open already. So I'm going to do a half red here. Steven's in Florida. Steven, thanks for watching. If you haven't got a chance yet, share this with your friends for me. That way they can draw with us too. Love to see all their drawings. We can learn a lot from other people's drawings. You're learning from mine. I'm learning from yours. And so we can do that if we share the love. All right, there's the, there's that one. I'm going to pick brown here because it's fudge brownie. Even the name of the, the food has the color in its name, brown. So there we go. Drawing that M&M right there. Showing you what you get. Fudge brownie chocolate right in there. Oh, yeah. All right. Add some shading in there. We've got Jonah from Virginia out there. Pretty cool. Virginia's a beautiful spot. All right, I'm gonna add some M's in here. This is the method I'm using, but you might have to use a different method like the one I showed you up here. 
Sometimes it's hard to see that white on the yellow for any color, so it's there if you can't see it. Trust me, I, I put it in there. I'm not hiding any M's from you here. Looking pretty good. Hey, I'm forgetting the green one over here. I gotta do that green M&M. &M. A lot of colors today, aren't there? Oh yeah, a lot of colors, looking good. All right. Wow, look at that come together. Isn't that cool? Add some blue up there. And we also have to put blue behind the 18, so do that. Keep the number white, though. I'm not going to fill in that number. That number is white on the race car, so we're going to keep it white on here. Very nice. I'm probably going to pick a little lighter of blue here, just to... I think that would look a little better if I made it a little lighter. So I'm going to pick a little bit of a lighter blue. And I'm going to color in the top in a more light color because the sun is up top. So usually things towards the top of a car are brighter. Not always, but the shadows are usually at the bottom. Donna Lee's on the Space Coast. Danny's out there. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It's coming together. Now, here's another trick. Remember all these swooshes? Pick these same colors you picked and add some swooshes in the windshield, the same color as the M&Ms. What this is going to do... It's going to tie everything together. It's going to make the, the car look faster. It's going to uh, tie the colors of the car with the outside environment, like the, the glass is reflecting things in the outside world. So I'm just picking the same colors I used on the race car, and I'm swooshing them in all over the place here, swooshing them in on the windshield. I might even swoosh them in on the outside over here. Look at that. See how it's kind of looking like glass? A little bit. Glass reflects, so it's doing that. Like I said, you can also put them on the outside over here. Colorful world flying by. Maybe even go into the shadow a little bit. Add some purple in there. Get some swoosh action going on. There we go. I'm going to even go in the shadow a little bit just to make it look like it's it's all blurring together, going fast, flying off the car. Look at there. I need to color in that spoiler. How did I forget the spoiler? Oh my goodness. Okay. Black spoiler back there. All right, now it's back to swooshing. There's also some orange. There's an orange M&M up there that I forgot, so let me, let me put in that orange M&M in there. There we go. Got some orange in the background swooshing by. Look at that. See how it just kind of brings everything together? Makes it look so fast. I'm even going to add some swooshes over the car. I know we're going crazy here, but I think it helps. Just makes everything look faster. All right, how about some blue? We need some blue. Oh, yeah. All right. How's yours looking? You having fun? I'm having fun just going a little crazy here. What about some green? We gotta have some green in there, don't we? Put some green in the windshield. Make it look even faster. Put some green down here. Make it look so fast. Oh yeah. What color am I missing? Am I missing a color? No? I don't think so. Oh, red. Yep, don't forget the red. Red's a bold color, so I don't use a ton of it. I just use it as an accent, which just means it's a has a little bit of a presence, not a whole lot. It's just an accent color. Just a slight touch. Look at that. And just like that, once we add a little light gray in our headlights here, once we do that, M&M's, Fudge, Brownie, Camry is going to come together. My final touch is going to be the Toyota emblem up here, which is kind of like a T. A little bit like a T. Goes like this. Two ovals together, like that. And just like that, Kyle Busch's Fudge Brownie car has come together. I'm going to erase these swatches. We don't need those. That was just an example for you. So what do you think? How do you like it? 
How do you like mine? How do you like yours? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you want to draw tomorrow. And please be sure to send in your drawings. Because every so often I put some of my favorites that you submit up on the show. So that everybody can enjoy them. Because I've seen some really, really great drawings from my, my friends out there. We've got Devin and Jack and all sorts of people who have sent in drawings that look really good. So uh, Tracy wants to know what app I'm using. This is the Procreate app on the iPad. But uh, there's some free ones out there. Even on Instagram you can draw for free. Did you know that? All right. Susan's just watching. That's all right, Susan. I appreciate you just watching. Well, thanks, y'all. Look for this car coming to a racetrack near you very soon. And, uh, and also, uh, you parents out there, if you want to grab, grab some of this, you might want to. This is some good candy. I need to try this fudge brownie. I can't wait. Last thing we need to do, we need to sign it. Boris, I like to put the date 2020. And we're done. All right? Looking pretty good, don't you think? Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I will catch you later. Leave me some comments. Send me some pictures. Have a good one.